Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Mopo, where it's all matter of personal opinion. It's all Mopo. I'm at Dave Roach 83 and I guess we'll call this another episode of Mopo Sports. Um, we're going to go over my uh, fantasy basketball season. Um, I actually wound up winning my league. I played in a head-to-head -head league on ESPN. Um, you know, I, I wasn't going to play at all this year because uh, I really, you know, I'm working, you know, different schedule, and I really haven't been watching a lot of basketball lately. But somehow, the like the night the season began, I was like, you know what, man, I. I'll do a league, you know, I want, I want to play. Um, so, like, three or four hours before the season started, I did a league. And I um, wound up having the number three pick overall, which I wasn't mad at, but... Um, Yeah, so what I did was, with the number three pick, I picked Russell Westbrook. Even though, like, Oklahoma City had picked up um, Carmelo Anthony and Paul George, I just felt like, you know, Westbrook's like a triple-double a night. Should be a good number one pick. I should have picked LeBron James, but it's whatever. Because it doesn't matter that I picked Russell Westbrook with that number one pick. Um... What happened was, so I go through the draft, I get Jimmy Butler, Draymond Green, Joel Embiid, Kevin Love, Al Horford, Lonzo Ball, Ricky Rubio, you know, so on and so forth. I got Lou Williams late, Markel Fultz, uh, Dirk Nowitzki, even, uh, why not? And even before the season starts, you know, the I had the draft two hours, you know, a couple hours before the season starts. I traded Russell Westbrook for um, freaking Gordon Hayward and Clay Thompson. And famously, Gordon Hayward snaps his ankle in the first game of the season uh, so I started a trend of horrible uh, injuries to my team by the end of the season I only had three guys left on the squad that I actually drafted and that was Lou Williams that was Al Horford, and I believe that was Kevin Love. And Kevin Love, I had to drop at one point in the season because he got hurt. And luckily, I was able to pick him back up. But I'm telling you, to win this league, I had to make moves. Um, and I made so many moves. I had almost 40 different players score points for my team this year, which is, to me, an absurd number, but the best player on my team was Lou Williams all year, and I got him, like, late, and he scored uh, 1,700 fantasy points for me. Uh, the next guy on the list is Joel Embiid, scored just under 1,500, uh, and then with Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, both scoring over 1,000 points, uh, also Kevin Love. Um, Al Horford, Tyreek Evans, who, you know, I actually picked up, uh, you know, along with, you know, Clay Thompson was also an addition, he wasn't actually drafted, but a lot of my best players got hurt, and it was, if it weren't for pickups like Tyreek Evans, who I also had to drop, you know, at the end of the year, was not on my final roster, uh, Julius Randle. Uh, was a great pickup. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki, Ricky Rubio had great years for me too, but uh, 
Dirk Lewitsky, I you know, I had to drop him halfway through the season. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddle had a great first half of the year, but he really fell off in the second half. I was able to pick up Donovan Mitchell somehow. Alonzo Ball had a really good year, too, you know. A lot of people were down on him. But, you know, as far as, like, fantasy purposes, he had a good year. But he got hurt, so, you know, once again, I dropped him. The one guy I think I kind of gave up on, which I, I shouldn't have, but I did, was uh, Will Barton. He had a good year, and he had a decent year for me. You know, I'm looking at the final stats, and he was, like, middle of the pack, you know, scores for me. Uh, Joe Ingles was a great pickup. Michael Beasley had a few stretches of the year that um, he, he really got in. And, you know, um, I was able to pick up Ilya Sova off the Sixers at the end of the year. He really scored some uh, surprising points for me. Uh, Kyle Quinn at the very end. Um, even, uh, was it Kelly Olenek? or however you say his name. Uh, those are guys at the very end of the year I was able to pick up and they actually were producing for me. But I guess, like I said, the theme of this basketball season for me was who's going to get hurt next and am I going to be able to pick somebody up to fill in that role. And it's funny because like none of my guys even scored 2,000 points. Like, you know, but... I had a whole bunch of guys that are scoring it. My thing is, if you're putting up at least 15 fantasy points a game, you know, that's pretty decent. Like, so you want at least 15 points a game. So, you know, and hopefully you get more. You know, good guys, you know, average 20, 30, you know, whatever. But um, I, had a, I had a lot of guys who are averaging at least 15 points a game. And you put them all together, and you make sure you have enough starters you know, every game you use, you know, you have a certain amount of transactions you're allowed to do each week. Use them transactions, you know, hopefully you have a couple guys who are interchangeable. And, uh, you know, that's how I won the league. But, um, you know, did you play fantasy basketball this year? How did you do? Let me know. Um, you know, that's how I was able to win my league, but it wasn't easy. It's a long season, and it takes a lot of, like, perseverance. But, uh, you know, thank you for watching and listening. And remember, it's all a matter of personal opinion. It's all Mopo.